What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are on F1 2019 once again. Seems like we've been doing a lot of alternating between uh, GT Sport and this game. Uh, it's a balance that I really enjoy uh, doing at the moment. Uh, thoroughly enjoying the online side of both games uh, and making kind of parallels between the two. But um, I would recommend you go check out my video from yesterday. Uh, 200 lockups of... Laguna Seca, or shall I say, uh, 200 laps of Laguna Seca, running with no ABS and a new, new brake pedal. We are continuing on today with our new load cell pedal, and I'm hoping that we can, well, find the, the limits on, on this game. We'll uh, wait and see. But uh, away we go for our very first race. Absolutely no practice uh, since jumping on GT Sport for about five hours yesterday, but uh, through time one, interestingly, no lockup from us uh, straight away. So that is, uh... my goodness, what was that? Welcome back to F1 2019, everybody. It is uh, absolute carnage, as you would come to expect. Hit once, not twice, but three times at turn two, which is absolutely lovely. Um, just wanted to have a calm start to the race, a calm restart to this game, but um, Caution. Caution. as is always the case with this franchise, it's just, you know, <laughs> always going at a million miles an hour, such is the pace. But uh, anyway, we, we had a clumsy spin there on the curb. Um, my driving, as of yet, still isn't quite up to its usual standard. This uh, new low cell brake pedal that I'm running with has been throwing me around a little bit. So too is my car as we continue to hit more curbs and spin ourselves out. But at this point, I was a little bit worried as to what's going on here. And, and that's why the tires are, are literally melting off of the carcass. So, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just waiting for the tires to cool down, essentially. It's, it is... You can cook your Sunday roast on there, on those rear tires. Um, they'll be done in about two minutes flat. It's just impossible to drive when uh, the tires are above 105 degrees, let alone near on 120, which is what they were on. And funnily enough, when we were stationary there, the tires weren't cooling down. So... It, you have to actually be moving for the tires to cool down. It's uh, an interesting way of conducting the tire temperatures, so that's not done 100% realistically. But anyway, uh, we press on with this race. We allowed our tires to recover, and now we are smashing our way back through the field in this three-lap race. This isn't an open lobby by me, by the way. This is a random uh, in a lobby that I just joined, um, and. Yeah, we're just having some fun, I guess, but it's, uh, it's, just, it's just an absolute nightmare. Penalties uh, are plenty, uh, spins everywhere. Uh, that guy just got absolutely blown up by me at the final corner. But um, after all this, we are looking at potentially a top 10 finish here. We're going to put the old brake pedal to the test at turn one here. Big boy lunge. A bit of contact, though, with the apex, but um, crucially, we don't actually lock up there. So... Hmm. It seems like Gran Turismo is a little bit more finicky with no ABS. Um, for those of you who missed it, yeah, we, we were running the whole race without ABS, and apparently everyone on Gran Turismo runs with ABS on uh, because it's just undrivable to race without ABS on that game. But on this one, it seems fine. Like I'm not, I haven't locked up once. Um, so clearly, it was a it was a Gran Turismo thing. But I still am working on my technique when it comes to working out the brake pedal as we get squeezed out there at the finish line fighting over P9 but the penalties have set us back to P11 in this three lap race so not a disaster to be honest I mean yes we had all those incidents but I, at least I can navigate an F1 car around a circuit that was probably my biggest worry heading into uh, this game with the new brake pedal upgrade. But uh, now we are well and truly going to put the, the brakes to the test here at Monza. Turn 1 is going to be interesting. Uh, one of the heaviest braking zones that you've got on the game. And this is actually the, the toughest track on brakes. Um, you really have to have a nice deft touch on the left pedal. We're heading into Turn 1. We cannot get a feel for that deft touch. Um, as everyone just uh, completely ignores braking for turn one. Who needs to brake when you can use the cars ahead as a brake as we navigate past that sea of crashes uh, <laughs> on the Curva de Grande. 
And uh, we have three now for P4. I think we we were nearly last after turn one and then just everyone blew up after we recovered and now we find ourselves fighting for the podium. We're recovering here to this last lap, trying to put uh, Ben Wilmot TTV uh, under pressure. Looks like he bottles it and we go through for P2. The race lead, however, um, had a clear race up front and it meant that it was very, very difficult to really do anything about catching him. So that, that was this race. I didn't want to gloss over on it too much. I just want to show you guys uh, the good races that I had over the course of this night. Nearly losing P2 at the line, but uh, a, a handy recovery that was at Monza. Having a change up of things, we're going to go in the racing point. Um, just a change of scenery, hopefully a change of luck. We are now off to Singapore, where this track is also a big test on brakes. Mainly because it's all like low speed and having to trail brake a lot through corners. This will be a real good test for me to see if that element of my driving is still up to standard. Uh, hopefully, in the long run, I should be actually much better at trail braking with a load cell pedal. But uh, time will tell. Singapore GP. Let's do this. Don't take any risks going into the first corner. With this many cars, someone's going to try to squeeze through a gap that isn't there. I mean, Jeff did warn me, so what can I really expect? We move on to Russia, where hopefully we can actually have a clean race. It seems nigh on impossible to race with the public on PS4. I thought you guys were better than this. But away we go for Russia, and this is one of the most amazing starts I've had on this game. Because the, the launch was just amazing, and then the second phase was pretty good too. Uh, where did we start? Like P7, P8? We now find ourselves challenging the top three as we head into turn two. Um big lunge from the Ferrari on our outside pushing us off on the circuit at turns three and four and this has just been a disgusting display from the Scuderia Ferrari driver we actually make a touch with an Alfa Romeo driver take ourselves out no that's not a rage quit that is an insta recovery hack cheat glitch no it's not a glitch it's in the game but uh yeah what's the point in uh Oh my goodness, goodbye. <laughs> oh, I should have got demolished there, not the Alfa Romeo. That guy up there has just done an illegal overtake on about three drivers and caused... Oh, well, he's taken himself out, so that's fine. Where was I? Um, something happened. Oh yeah, it was the um, reset the track. But like, what's the point in actually physically and manually you know, rotating your car, spinning out the rear tires, overheating them, when you can simply press the pause menu and then hit A button and you get reset the track and uh, you keep your tire temps. I mean, that's that's the perfect way to go. But we finally get past the Ferrari. That guy is just hell bent on taking everyone out in this race, it seems. Oh! That red indicator had me very nervous. But we are through for P4 and thankfully we have cleared that toxic group of cars. I thought I left the toxicity behind me when I stopped playing Rocket League uh, in December. That's why I'm uploading a whole lot more recently, by the way. Uh, but it seems to have uh, followed me through this game. Anyway, um, we're in P4. There's no chance of us getting P3 or P2, for that matter, unless we do some cheeky boy corner cutting. So I'm just honing into the old team at Marduk. I mean, you guys surely have missed him being a clean boy and all. Uh, with those league racing, but now we are, you know, going back to our roots here, trying to put some pressure on uh, Cosmic Kid 5. We uh, get a, a fantastic run through the third to last corner. This guy blocking me off. What an absolute cheat. I can't believe the cheek of these guys. Again, blocking me into the final corner. Let's see if we can do an under and over. But no, we cannot get past. It is P4, even with the like five, six, seven, eight. 20 million seconds worth of penalties we accumulated on that last lap. We didn't lose out any positions, uh, but we did have a chance of uh, nearly getting on the podium there. But there we go. Cosmic Kid. I mean, what a dirty driver. Apparently, Ram Tyler needs to be kicked as well. So there's, there's that big old boot of mine is going to be very, very sore after kicking all of these kids out of this lobby. Ram Tyler, 1901. What are you doing on F1? 
You should be on Gran Turismo. Oh, he's a hacker. Wonderful. Let's find out if he actually is a hacker. So, uh, he was actually hacking. I was winning the race when it says he won. I was the furthest ahead, but lost the win, apparently. So, we are going to ask Mr. Tyler here. Uh, are you hacking? Are you hacker? Okay, that makes sense. Detective Tiamat Marduk is on the case. Wait till the end of the video to see what the response is. I bet 99% of you will not see this coming. Clickbait, explosions, bullcrap like that. Remember, brakes and tires will be cold at the start, so take it easy on the first few corners. All right, detective duties aside, we are here at the Japanese Grand Prix, here at Suzuka, where hopefully we can bag ourselves a race win. Um, yeah, it seems lacking a little bit of confidence lately, but hopefully this is the race where we can come out and shine here in Japan. Away we go for another race start. So it seems like upgrading your brake pedal is much more beneficial for better getaways. That is 100% confirmed. We're fighting away with our Williams teammate here through turns two, three, and four. We get the ascendancy, and now we can set after our uh, fellow namesake, Wilmot TTV, as we almost get uh, swiped there by the Red Bull, who was having an interesting line through the S's. We now lead this Japanese Grand Prix, and it is imperative that we pull away from those behind, because I'm still not 100% on my pace. Don't have uh, a dedicated setup for each track on PS4. I'm still running with uh, a Chinese Grand Prix setup. For every single track that I go to, I just adjust the downforce. That's about it. Um, but yeah, the load cell uh, upgrade that I made, I'm uh, sorry to keep banging on about it, but yes, it's going to take me a long time to actually get fully confident and back to the level where I was previously. Um, but I know in the long run that this is going to make me faster, more consistent, and actually it's going to help me trail break that a little bit more. But for the time being, I just have to put up with being a little bit slower than what I would be. And I hope that this can maybe give you guys some inspiration uh, in the future to, you know, improve your own driving. Um, always look for those methods where you can find those extra little one percenters, um, whether it be turning off assist, turning off uh, ma manual gears, you need to be doing that. You know, turning off ABS, turning off traction, all these things is going to make you faster. Maybe even switching to a wheel, that's a huge step. Um, it will make you slower, and that is scary, but you will benefit massively from that in the long run. So that's kind of what I've, I'm doing. I was, yeah, I was delaying it. I had the upgrade, you know, sitting in my room, and I didn't put it on for a week because I knew that I was going to be slower, but I just had to man up and just get on with it, and that's what I'm doing at this uh, phase in my... F1 2019 career. It is a rebuild phase. But anyway, we're under pressure from the Red Bull. You can see he goes for a nice little uh, dive bomb there into the final chicane. I'm not going to panic just yet. I feel like we've, we've got decent pace. Um, let's hopefully soar past this guy on the start finish train. No DRS being a three lap race. But we're going to utilize the straight line speed to get past him anyway. Around the outside of turn one. And we make that work very well for us there. Young Stinson really putting us under pressure here in this race. It's what you love to see, having to, yeah, push the limits with this uh, brake pedal. The only way that I'm going to get better is if, I, if I'm if i tested, if I, uh, you know, continue to practice and push the limits. Uh, the one thing that I, I feel like I'm not doing overly well at this stage is actually getting the most out of the, um, the pedal travel. Like, I'm not going to 100% brake pressure as hard or as intensely as what I should. Um, I, I bleed off the brake pedal a little bit too well. I can see that with the um, telemetry like on the bottom right hand corner of the screen. What I am doing is I'm actually carrying a, a small percentage of brake to the apex of the corner, which is something I'm already doing, which is a lot better than what I was previously with my potentiometer brake pedal. But um, that, that initial stopping power is something that I am lacking and it is uh, knocking around my pace at the moment, but we will get better at that. But anyway, final lap of the Grand Prix. Uh, we're breaking this substream to Young Stinson behind. You use all of the battery power. Not much fuel to utilize, but uh, hopefully that should be fine. Purple to the first, personal best in the second sector. Final chicane doesn't go for the lunge there. We're a little bit later under breaks, which is nice. Out of the final corner. This will be a victory for the Japanese. Oh no, he's coming back at us side by side of the line. And Young Stinson has stolen this victory from within our grasp. I 
was about to sip that champagne, that sweet, sweet champagne. I was handed the trophy, and then no race win. That's the difference. Uh, one hundredth and two hundredths of a second, essentially, at the line. Here's a replay from the replay camera. That has absolute... That just... That, you can't tell who won from the race from that. So we're going to slow it down. We're going to see how close it is at the line from my POV. This is kind of... I don't know. This might be the best way to tell. We will have uh, photo mode to uh, use as a reference as well. But bad run out of the final corner. I got caught up on the curb. And I actually thought I'd be fine. And I didn't want to cover off the inside too much because that would... Oh, that's close. That is very, very close. I didn't want to move over to the inside too aggressively because I thought that might have spun out my car. So I left the inside open and uh, it's meant that he got alongside. But here's photo mode. Here's the uh, the justification. This is where we're going to see the... F wow, we're a long way ahead there. Uh, we'll get closer and closer. We're still ahead. Interesting. This is the line now. We, we, we're touching the line now, and he's still not in front of me. Game. Don't do this to me. We're gonna, we're gonna move forward a little bit more. We're gonna move ourselves over the line now. And we're still ahead! We won this race! We won this race, but Codemasters has taken it right from under our grasp. It says, on the race finishing results, oh look at my hand, the hand of frustration says it all. We won this race, but it has been stolen. Codemaster said he's finished 200s ahead of us in this Grand Prix, but at no point, no point whatsoever across the line, he has somehow won this race. I would love to know how he has won this race. I can tell you that by being an Australian or being a, a laggy person of sorts, there is a thing called lag compensation. Might have been why I got a great start in these races. Um, sometimes people get re released maybe just a touch earlier and they try and balance that out at the end of the race and I feel like that is what has happened. This guy has been balanced out. Like you just have to get within, I don't know, very, very close and sometimes you can actually beat people. That was something I used to get on the old F1 games. Um, but it seems we've been absolutely duked. Absolutely raging. Thank you so much for watching. Ram Tyler. He is not a hacker. Apparently. So that is... That is... Well, that's not very nice. Take that. Hey. If you don't behave yourself from now on, we're going to end up disqualified.